street mobility. We make pedicabs, pedal trucks, delivery trikes, billboard bikes. We specialize in pedal powered vehicles. It is essential for all drivers to train for at least an hour before operating a pedicab or pedal truck or other pedal powered vehicle. We're gonna start by showing how to get onto the driver's seat. You want to make sure the brakes are locked and rock the vehicle back and forth, making sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Then use the pedal closest to you as a step. It's locked so you can step onto that pedal and use it to bring your other leg up and over. Again, make sure the brakes are held tight and get comfortable rocking side to side and front to back. Also practice getting down from the driver's seat. Again, locking the brakes, using the pedal as a step, and bringing your leg up and over. Practice getting on and off. And once you're feeling good about that, then it's time to try out some obstacles. Practicing with obstacles is really important to get comfortable, especially if you're driving in a campus setting or city setting where there's a lot of obstacles on the streets like cars and people. You want to practice in an open area, so finding a cul-de-sac or an open basketball court outdoors, a big parking lot, anywhere that you have a lot of space to set up some obstacles. You want some obstacles that are sticking out that mimic car rear view mirrors or tree branches. So brooms work well for that or just a stick. You want obstacles that you can weave between to practice turns. Boxes of mac and cheese work well or really any small objects like an orange, a brick, a cone. Then you want some bigger obstacles. A big box works well. Then you can practice some sharp turns around that box. Once your obstacle course is set up, it's ready to ride. When doing turns on a pedicab or pedal truck, it's really important to remember that this vehicle has three wheels, not two. So that means it's very hard, almost impossible to tip over and to turn the vehicle, instead of using your body weight and balancing it, you just turn the front wheel and point it where you want to go. The rest of your body just stays still. That front wheel, wherever it's pointing, that's where your vehicle will go. And you can make really sharp turns on this. Just remember, the back is much wider than a bike. Now let's practice going around some bigger obstacles and making really sharp turns. Take a broom or a branch from a tree and you can stick it out of a garbage can or a car door or this park bench is working well and use that as an obstacle to help practice knowing where your vehicle edge is. When you're using a motor, make sure the motor, you're not pedaling or activating the motor when you're going around those sharper turns. The motor is really for when you're going down longer stretches of road. We've practiced getting on and off the bike. We've practiced the obstacle course for about 30 to 45 minutes. And now we're gonna practice braking. To practice braking, head straight towards your box or any soft, large object and practice activating the brakes right in time to stop before that box. This will give you a good feel for the brakes and how long it takes to bring your vehicle to a complete stop. Once each driver trainee does at least an hour of training, getting on and off the bike, obstacle work, braking practice, then they should be ready to go. Make sure each driver feels really, really comfortable operating the vehicle before putting them on the streets. Thanks for watching our Main Street Mobility driver training video. Main Street Mobility makes pedicabs, pedal trucks, and we also supply parts and accessories for these vehicles. Once you learn to drive one of these vehicles, it's really easy to pick up driving the other ones. 
We're really glad that you're part of the Main Street family and thank you for watching. Check out our Main Street Mobility YouTube page for more videos, including videos of how to do repairs on your vehicle.